Many of us try to make them those New Year's resolutions to get into shape to save more money. But tonight, ABC's Matt Gutman with a stunning number. Just how many weeks do we last? No sooner had the New Year's ball dropped and up popped Jessica Simpson, one of the very first ads of the new year. Because when a weight loss program is built for human nature, you can expect amazing. Our resolutions were personal. About 40% of Americans make these promises. I was going to try to be nicer to my brothers. Not complaining as much. Take more risks in life. By some counts, a third of these promises are broken before the end of January. Not so amazing. The perennial top two resolutions are increasing exercise and decreasing our weight. It's a $66 billion a year industry. Do they continue with the programs that they start? There are some people that do, but there, there's a group that's kind of consistently inconsistent. Almost there. Market analysts show that gym memberships peak in January and by March they plummet. In fact, one study shows that 80% of new members become no members after just eight weeks. Uh, it's a lifestyle change, so I hope I can make it. To succeed at the gym and beyond, the experts say keep those resolutions small and think about keeping them to yourself because the satisfaction you get from that New Year's Day announcement to friends and family could sap your motivation. Do you have any resolutions this year? No. You don't make not, any. Not to make any. Probably sound advice. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami.